Hi guys, <laughs> how are you? Thank you so much for talking to me again. I'm so excited to be here. Um, how are you guys? Um, third movie, you guys excited to everyone to see it? Yeah. So um, you guys expect the movie to be like a huge thing like it's been? Yeah, sorry, I was muted. I was gonna say I'm good, thank you as well. I hope you're well. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm really excited for everyone to see the third. Uh, I can't wait to hear what the fans think of it. Oh, that's great. Um, so I think the characters um, evolved a lot doing, throughout the movies. What do you guys think is the biggest like change that you see like in the first movie to the third one right now? I think probably the tone. Uh, there's a lot of like hair, makeup, wardrobe changes that happen. And, and I think tonally it just feels like a very different, each film feels different. Um, yeah, and also these characters grow up. So even looking at Tessa from the very first film to where she is now, it's a couple of, well, not a couple of years, but it just seems like a huge, it seems like it's a couple of years. I'd agree. I'd say the tonal shift, but I also like how it kind of complements the coming of it, the fact that, that Harden and Tessa are now out of education and, you know, into the grown-up world. Um, so the tone being slightly more mature perfectly complements where we are with the stories. Ooh, that's great. So you guys filmed uh, in Bulgaria during the pandemic, I think was <laughs> a really different experience. How was it, how was it like for you guys? Um, do you guys and the cast being all together for so long? How was that experience for you? I think we're really lucky that everyone got along so well, especially because we were together for such a long time and um, you're quarantined. So you, it, we're just lucky that we got along so well. Um, and yeah, shooting during COVID is definitely different, but I almost think that it's going to be hard to go back now that we've all gotten so used to it. Uh, I've just done another movie with COVID protocols and it kind of feels now like you just get used to it. I, I think it's, it's uh, I get, I feel like what we have, we're aware that it's definitely harder to shoot uh, during a pandemic or to almost do anything during a pandemic um, yeah. um, for everyone. Um, but we're just grateful that we were able to do it. Um, it's, we're so lucky to have been able to bring these characters back to life three, four times now, and that's credit to the fans. So a big thank you to all of the, all of the fans who allow us to do it. Yeah, the fans here in Brazil are really, really, really excited. You guys were here um, for the first movie, I remember. I was there to interview you guys. So um, you guys may be, ex I, we can expect you guys to come back, maybe for the fourth or anything like that. Um, I really loved when we went to Brazil. Um, um, I've always wanted to go back. It was always been a place that I've wanted to spend more time. Um, so yeah, in my next opportunity, I, will, I would love to come back to Brazil. I saw you guys went to like a soccer game and everything. So was that the best experience in Brazil that you guys had? We didn't actually see the soccer game. We went to the soccer stadium. Oh. Yeah. I was lucky enough to go to a game after, I think. But yeah, what we, we, went, to, we went to the stadium together and it was like they had a museum in the stadium that I'm going to bore everyone, but it was very, very fun for me personally. And I'm so grateful that everyone else came along. Oh, that's great. So um, as a, it's a third movie, as you guys said, um, your characters are really grown up right now, um, more mature and everything. Um, what do you guys think is the lesson that all of us like teenagers and everything can take from this movie, especially, you know, Tessa going through all of this and having to choose between the love of her life and, you know, the job, the, her dream job and everything. Do you guys think there's something that all of us can learn from it? I think... I think as much as it is a movie, and I don't think people should take it too seriously because it is primarily a form of entertainment, but of course there's a message and, and you know, we hope that people can learn from it. And I think, I think they can learn the, 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 I guess it's cliche, but the power of love and how, how, you know, if you do love someone or yourself or anything enough that you can overcome, you know, your past and, and continue to be a better person and, and, you know, strive to be, to be better and love helps us do that, definitely. Yeah, that's great. So um, to finish, I want you guys to send a message to all your Brazilian fans and tell them to watch the movie and everything like that, because they are really, really, really excited to see you guys again in the big screen. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, thank you so much to everyone in Brazil for seeing the movies and we hope that you see this one and that you love it. Big thank you to everyone in Brazil and all of our fans. I can't wait to get back out there and see you guys. But until then, we hope you love our number. Yay. Thank you so much, guys. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Thank, thank you, Anna. You.